So what is this empty follicle syndrome? So what are the causes of this empty follicle syndrome? So what are the risk factors of this empty follicle syndrome? Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any important updates related to infertility. Hello, I'm Dr. Udhya, consultant gynecologist and infertility specialist in Raivya Hospital, Banjara Hills, Hyderabad. Today, we are going to discuss a very rare complication which occurs during the IVF treatment leading to cycle cancellation. It also causes a lot of stress and anxiety both to the patient as well as the treating clinician. It is nothing but empty follicle syndrome. So what is this empty follicle syndrome? It is a condition where no oocytes are retrieved from the ovaries after an adequate ovarian stimulation which is evidenced by the ultrasonography and apparently adequate steroidogenesis. What is the incidence of this empty follicle syndrome? It varies between patient to patient and per each IVF cycle, the average being 0.5 to 7% per IVF cycle. So what are the causes of this empty follicle syndrome? The first and the main important cause is any error in administering of the trigger injection. If either the patient or the patient's partner has to self-administer the injection or the person who is having a very low expertise in giving an injection administers the trigger injection wrongly, it might lead to empty follicle syndrome. The next is the timing of the trigger injection. If the injection is taken too early or if it is taken too late then the prescribed time, it might also lead to this empty follicle syndrome. The third is the oocyte retrieval timing. If the procedure is done too early, which is less than 34 hours after taking the trigger injection or if the procedure is done very late, means more than 38 hours of, after uh, taking the trigger injection might also lead to this empty follicle syndrome. The other reason is either the manufacturing defect or any potency of the active ingredient inside the injection might also lead to this. And the last but not the least is bioavailability, means the absorption or the clearance rate uh, uh, also might lead to this empty follicle syndrome. So what are the risk factors of this empty follicle syndrome? Matlab, who are the patients who are more prone for this syndrome? The patients who already have this empty follicle in the previous cycle are more prone to have this in the next cycle also. The patients who are having an advanced maternal age or who have a very low ovarian reserve, the patients who have a very high BMI means uh, the patients uh, who are obese or the patients uh, uh, whose base, baseline uh, FSH levels are always on a higher side or the patients who uh, uh, have uh, low levels of estradiol on the day of the trigger. These all patients are more prone to have this empty follicle syndrome. So how can we manage this empty follicle syndrome? So in the current cycle, we need to be very careful about the technique of administering the trigger injection, the timing of the trigger injection and the timing of the oocyte retrieval. And if everything is normal and still the patient is having the empty follicles, what we can do is we can re-trigger, give another trigger to the patient and uh, we can then uh, aspirate the follicles. So what can we do for the next cycle? So for the next cycle, if the clinician get to know the patient is having the risk factors, so what we can do is we can change the stimulation protocol and the clinician can uh, change the trigger uh, uh, to another trigger which includes a recombinant HCG so that we get good number of the follicles. So if you are the patient who are having uh, this uh, empty follicle syndrome or uh, who are undergoing a repeated IVF cycle cancellation or if you have any queries and doubts regarding this empty follicle syndrome, do visit a center. Thank you. For more information, visit our website www.indraivf.com or call 1-800-309-4410. Keep following us and leave your fertility-related questions in the comments below and get answers from Indira IVF doctors.